Hi, I'm Justin Smith, fitness coach at Bishopsgate Golf Academy. Today I wanted to talk about maintaining our energy levels throughout the course of a training day. Now there's really three main things that I want to touch on and, and they are hydration, nutrition, and sleep. So number one, hydration. You should be drinking water from pretty much the minute you wake up, you know, pretty much until you go to bed, especially here where we train in Florida where you know, half the year you're, you know, it's hot, it's humid and you're sweating and, and you're just generally training in a warm environment. So you need to be having a water bottle with you all day. If you have it with you and it's filled with water, you'll just kind of naturally sip on it throughout the day and, and you just need to be drinking throughout the day. That has a big impact on how you feel, um, you know, as you go through your activities during the day. Number two is nutrition. So what you're eating and, and what time throughout the days you're eating your food. Uh, those are two you know, pretty important factors when it comes to energy levels. So number one, um, how are you eating? You wanna, you know, obviously you hear it all the time, your fruits, veggies, whole foods, good, good source of protein at every meal, some healthy fats. Um, eat a good breakfast. So a good breakfast is really, really important for setting you up for a good successful day. And then the timing as well. So we have kids that come in to the workout maybe at 6.15 is our, is our last session every night. And they haven't eaten since lunch. Well, lunch was at 12.30 or 1 o'clock. So they've gone now over five hours with, with activity, being out of the range and the course in the heat. And they haven't eaten anything, not a snack at all. So it's really important to maybe consider a snack 30 minutes, an hour before you work out. You know, something with, you know, a little bit of protein, some good carbohydrates and some, some good healthy fats would be a, a pretty good option. And then number three, probably the most important is your sleep. So your quantity of sleep and your quality of sleep. So we need to think about what we're doing before we go to bed and how we're managing our time before we go to bed to make sure that we can get to bed at a consistent time and early enough so we get that recommended, you know, for our, for our athletes that we work with here, it's mainly late middle school to early college age, so mostly high school, is, you know, eight to nine hours is, is ideal, okay? So we need to think about getting to bed a little bit earlier and then staying off of our phones, our iPads, our laptops, anything with a screen that kind of emits that light and keeps, keeps us awake, okay? So... If we get rid of those distractions before we go to bed, maybe read a little bit, do some stretching, some rolling, which you know is gonna help you get your fitness goals even quicker. That's gonna help you fall asleep faster and the quality of your sleep is gonna be better. So those are your three tips for maintaining energy levels throughout the course of a training day.